Harkness. What is it? Well, simply put, it's a teaching style that originated here at Phillips Exeter. Yet it's not a formula followed by teachers to convey knowledge to their pupils, like other teaching methods. Harkness is about students teaching each other, students learning from one another. Harkness originated in the classrooms, but its most basic principles of learning through communication have been around since the very beginning of humanity. In fact, these principles have shaped humanity itself. Usually, Harkness discussions take place at a Harkness table. These tables come in all shapes and sizes, each one having been designed specifically to fit the room it is placed in. But if you pay attention, Harkness can be found all around us, even in places we least expect. Harkness isn't perfect. Sometimes you get lost. Sometimes you struggle picking up new things. And sometimes you find yourself engaged in one-on-one -on -one debates. These three examples are all part of the untold truth of Harkness. A truth that has been kept hidden until now. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> nice of you two to show up today. Nice to meet you, man. Morning, sir. Yeah. Yeah. This is a sound thing because you can see that. You can see this in the just. Did anyone get 57 too? No, did you get it? No, neither. <laughs> you want to them together? Yeah, but we can work together and get it. Let's do it. All right, so Alex the geologist is lost in the jungle. He's 10 kilometers from a long straight road, and 25 kilometers down that road is grill. He's very hungry, and he wants to get the grill, but he knows that in the jungle he can only travel 30 kilometers an hour, and on the road he can travel 50 kilometers an hour. What's the fastest way from him to grill? Okay, so grill is south. So how about I just run right there? But that looks treacherous out there. There's a lot of bramble in your way. I'll time you and see how you do, although I'm worried it might be a little slow. Good call. That was dirty. <laughs> Took you 30 minutes, Graham. Worth it. It must be a faster way. What if you went this way, through the bramble, and then hit the road, and then you could run along the road? So it must be shorter time, right? All right, I'll do it. What was my time? 50 minutes. Still too slow. There has to be a faster way. Come look at this. So we're right here. This is grill. Taking the hypotenuse. Too slow through the woods. Cut through the woods to the road. Still too slow. Too much travel time. But I've been thinking. What if we split the difference? Cut through the middle. Spend some time on the road. We can still take our own little hypotenuse. We get the grill. That's perfect. And we get the cookie. Let's do it. So we call this distance x, and this is a 25 minus x. We found a uh, way to minimize the travel time. Yeah. And now, that's not it. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for today. No homework. You know, we got a test tomorrow. Just remember, test day is a rest day for the well prepared.
See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Very right. well. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think we killed that. Yeah, that's right, right? You guys might want to take another look at 57.2 before the test. Nah, I'll purge your guy. <laughs> See you, Mr. Matt. That's it. Do you have this class right now? We've had this class together all the time over on Bo. Bonjour. Comment va tout le monde? Oui? Non? Greg, qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? Yeah, er, ce week-end, j'ai fait mon devoir dans la bibliothèque. Ah, tu as fait ton devoir? Pardon? Alors, Graham, on ne prononce pas mon, on prononce mon devoir. Oui, j'ai dit mon. maintenant. Alors, vous avez vos livres. Uh, Perry, tu as ton livre Oui, j'ai mon livre. Bon oh. Alright, Matthew, we already, we already figured that out, man. Mon. Mon Oh mon dieu Alors, la classe est finie. Au revoir. Merci. Merci de pousser mon chef. Thank you for helping me out today. I was having a really tough time with that pronunciation, but I'm very late and I have to run to my next class. Au revoir. Au revoir. All right. Uh, now that everybody is here, um, where do you guys want to start? I, I, I have a passage. Um, you guys want to talk about the green light? Yeah, I was actually thinking about this last night during the reading, and uh, the only thing that came to mind was money. Yeah, I actually thought it was a little different because, you know, I think Gatsby really has enough money at this point. I actually agree with Emily. I think that the green light represents kind of Gatsby's illusion of Daisy. I'm confused. When did they even bring up this green light thing? Well, as we see here on page 52, we see Gatsby stretching out for that green light, and that's the green light actually on Daisy's lawn. So that stretch is Gatsby like reaching out for Daisy with the hope that he can get back with her. But uh, green means go. Uh, the light symbolizes how Gatsby is going for Daisy.
Man is Gatsby reaching for Daisy, but it's unattainable. That's the whole point. He can reach for her, but he can't ever get her. Like, he can't get the green light, unless he had like 8,000 foot arms. <laughs> he said foot arms. <laughs> okay, but how about on page 124, when Nick compares the green light to settlers coming to, to America? It's not like they're just reaching for America, they actually got it. So it's like, it's something that he's going for. It's very much so attainable. <laughs> All right, big guy. The light might not be simply unattainable, but it's just a ridiculous ideal. The light, however distant, it's pure green, simple. Reach for the light, reach for Daisy. Right? Wrong. Daisy is not the same Louisville flower that he left behind. She has changed. Guess doesn't even know what he's reaching for. Just like the settlers didn't even know what they were sailing towards when they went towards America. We love America. That's why the settlers stayed here. But if the green light is the distant American dream, don't we see how this has been corrupted in the circles of those like Gatsby? It's about parties. It's about ridiculous wealth. It's about booze. It isn't the work in a steel mill and support a humble family that so many sought when they came here so long ago. The green light, like the American dream, has evolved to what we never expected. It's tainted. That was, that was an interesting discussion. Uh, but that's all the time we have left, so I will see you all tomorrow. We have class tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Week one. Week one. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. You got me. I thought you made some really nice points today. Good work. This isn't over. <laughs>